All right, so this is a video that I've uh, been meaning to do for a while. Um, over the years, I've uh, amassed a little bit of a blazer collection of tactical rifles. And I thought I'd do a series that explains the differences and the parts interchangeabilities between the different uh, generations of blazer tactical rifles. That includes the uh, first generation rifles, uh, also known as the UIT and the CISM and the LRS-1, and the second gener generation rifles, which are known as the LRS-2 and the Tactical-2. And this specific video is going to talk about the bolt bodies and the bolt heads. Um, so what you see here in front of you is actually two original LRS-1 bolt heads. Uh, in the center right here we have an LRS-2 bolt head and then these are actually two tactical two uh, bolt housings. I'm sorry, these are bolt housings. And down here we have uh, two uh, bolt heads which I'll we'll get into later. Um, the first thing to really understand about how Blazer made these is to compare it to an actual standard R93. So back here we have a standard R93 housing. This one's been stripped. Um, and the main difference between the tactical uh, R93s and the standard R93 are actually uh, fairly fairly simple to describe. There's there's not much that's different. Um, they actually use pretty much the same housing. They use the exact same rails. Um, all the internals are the same, uh, from what I can tell. And the only real difference, let's take one of these first generation bolt bodies. Uh, the only real difference between the two is that the uh, well there are two two major differences one is that there is a plastic uh, spacer that runs all the way uh, up the sides that sandwiches in between the rails and the uh, actual housing and they're actually made out of plastic they're made out of the same kind of uh, Blazer kind of Glock polymer. It's kind of like a Glock polymer is the way I usually describe it. And that basically, all, all these spacers accomplish is to make it slightly wider. So if I take these two and uh, put them together, you can see that the, um, the, the R93 tactical, the tactical housing, is just slightly thicker. Uh, probably by about, I'd say, four or five millimeters than a standard R93 housing. And the only difference is, is that these guys have some plastic spacers uh, sandwiched in between them. Um, the other big thing of note is that on a standard R93 housing, the front part of the bolt housing is a solid piece. It's all it's all made out of a, a solid piece of uh, uh, steel. Let me take off one of these rails here. You can see here a little bit better that the housing here is solid. What they did on the tactical housings is they replaced this frontal part here uh, with a separate part, or rather they, they milled away the front part of this housing and replaced it with a piece that is officially called the thread protector, or excuse me, the uh, edge protector. And this piece, the reason why it was turned into a separate piece was that this is the part of the bolt housing that actually interfaces with the magazine. On the first generation rifles, they have this kind of harsh slant cut. And on the uh, second generation rifle, starting with the LRS-2, they got rid of that slant cut and they went to more of a 
rounded profile, which coincidentally is almost exactly like the profile on a standard R93 housing. So it's just a few millimeters of difference. And I think what Blazer was originally thinking is that, so with the first generation rifles, the magazine was um, actually traveled up and down inside the magwell. So they needed to have a, um, a slant cut on this edge protector because of the geometry, uh, the, the relative geometry on the magazine. And when they moved to the second generation rifles, that uh, p this edge protector piece no longer needed to be slant cut. It could be a little bit more rounded because the magazines changed. They went to a, a, a different design of, uh, of magazine. And the reality is, is that both of them are largely interchangeable, in my opinion. Um, they, w whether you have a first generation or a second generation bolt housing, yes, there is the difference in, you know, a few millimeters on the profile of this edge protector, but it's not enough to really make it function any differently. I've used... Uh, my LRS-1 housings on my Tactical 2, on my LRS-2, and vice versa, and interchangeably. And they all, they've always come, come out uh, pretty much exactly the same. They feed the same. It might not be ideal, but it does work. Um, a couple of the more superficial differences. So, you know, the, the, the biggest differences would be between the first generation and the second generation uh, in that edge protector profile. But from the LRS-2 to the Tactical-2, what differences are there? There's actually pretty much none uh, that I can see. Um, they use the same internal parts. I've taken all of these down to, you know, the absolute smallest part. And they all are dimensionally the same. Some people claim that the Tactical 2 housing is thicker or that has some kind of like it's strengthened or something like that. But I think you can see that um, they both have exactly the same dimensions. I mean, if I put them up against each other here, they're like mirror images of, uh, of one another. Uh, they're the same width. Uh, all the parts are exactly the same. I, I'm, I'm not sure what people are talking about. And that's been something that's kind of been an issue over the years is that a lot of Blazard dealers probably had incomplete information and told people that, oh, yeah, the TAC-2, it's, it's different than the LRS-2. Um, you know... No, it's not. I, mean, I can honestly say that they are they are not different in any way that I can discern. Um, all the parts are relatively interchangeable. If you want to get very, very technical, the major difference that I can see um, across all of them would be the bolt handle, obviously, or not not the bolt handle, but the bolt knob are different profiles. The Tactical 2 had a kind of a very teardrop shape. The LRS-2 has a kind of a flat, and it's a little bit more rounded. And then, of course, the first generation handles are this kind of like very conical shape. And they were made of plastic, and then the LRS-2 and the Tactical 2 bolt knobs are made out of metal. But they're all interchangeable, too. I mean, they're just bolt knobs. They're just standard M6 thread. Uh, you can thread up anything, and you can actually put a standard R93 round uh, bolt knob if, if you want to. There's, there's no difference. Um, all of the actual bolt, bolt handles are pretty much the same, except for the fact that um, at some point in the Tactical 2 production, probably, I'm going to say after 2010 or 2011 or so, they did move to a slightly elongated uh, bolt handle, meaning it's just a little bit longer than 
the original bolt handles, which are standard R93 fare. They're literally the same part as on a standard R93. I don't know why Blazer did this. I mean, it's just maybe, again, three or four millimeters of difference. Maybe they just wanted to have the bolt handle stick out a little bit further for a little bit more clearance. But even so, these are actually interchangeable with the older style of bolt handle because in internally, they're exactly the same. The dimensions are all exactly the same. Um, so other than that, I, I can't really see any reason to say that None of these are, are interchangeable. There, there might be a small difference in profiles on the plastic safety knobs. The originals were maybe a little bit more thin, a little bit more elegant. Um, the later uh, plastic pieces here, they, they seem to have a little, they have a, uh, a little bit more of an edge to them maybe a half a millimeter thicker or something like that. But again, they're interchangeable. Um, if you <laughs> didn't spend a lot of time taking them apart like I did and comparing, you probably wouldn't even be able to see a difference. I mean, they all you have to do is remove one screw and these things fly off and they're, they can be interchanged easily. Okay, so one uh, other very small difference between this is a uh, first generation LRS one housing and this is a, a tactical two housing um, is that on the original um, housings the uh, this is the uh, bolt head locking uh, lever here it uh, it was smooth you can see up top here that there's no there's there's no variation on this uh, cut it's completely flat um, Blazer did make the design a lot better because trying to get this uh, uh, locking lever to come out sometimes is a real pain you have to get like a, a tweezers or a very thin uh, screwdriver and kind of wedge it in there and get it out it's very difficult to get it out just with like your fingernails on the uh, starting on the LRS2, they put these two little notches on this uh, lever, and that really makes uh, a big difference. I would imagine they did that with all R93s at some point. There's just two little teeth, so it's a lot easier to just take your finger and flick it open like that. Whereas it's it's almost impossible. You can't really do it on the on the first generation uh, housings. Um, one other really, really minute difference is that on all LRS twos and tactical two housings, you're going to see a T, um, turn that around here so you can see it a little bit better. There is a T inscribed on the firing pin assembly. This is the firing pin assembly block, you could call it on the originals. And this is also true of standard R93s. There is no T. They didn't inscribe a T. But starting on the LRS2, here's an LRS2 housing. You can see that there is a T marked there, and then there's a T on the Tactical 2, but not on the original. Um, I couldn't tell you what the difference was. Uh, this right here is a standard R93 uh, firing pin. And uh, it is does not have the T marked on it, but from a point of view, a dimensional point of view, I can't see any any differences. Uh, they're also not marked in any other conspicuous way. Um, so I'm not really sure why they they marked that T there. Maybe it was just so in like gun shops and stuff like that. If someone mixed something up, you could quickly flip this over because from an external point of view, I mean, they look exactly the same, um, uh, next to an R93 housing. Um, so maybe this was just a quick way, maybe even at the factory that they could, tell the difference between these things. Okay, so the other uh, area 
that uh, uh, we have to talk about are the actual bolt heads. And the bolt heads, uh, if you don't know, on all tactical rifles, the bolt heads are standard R93 bolt heads. Um, they made, uh, I believe, six or seven different kinds of bolt heads for the R93. And uh, the uh, any of them will interchange on any of the guns, including the tactical, too. They are all the same dimension when it comes to the actual collet that is the essentially the locking lug, the locking lugs of this design. Um, they all have the same hook interface at the rear. This is what actually hooks up to the uh, 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 bolt handle inside the housing and actually pushes these... Uh, this collet to expand outward as pressure is pushed in the opposite direction from the uh, the barrel face, and uh, they are all the same. I mean, if somebody tells you uh, I have an LRS two bolt head, or I have a tactical two bolt head, or I have an LRS one bolt head, it's just an R ninety three bolt head. There's no there's no difference. So this is a three thirty eight Magnum bolt head and it is the only bolt head that has any differences from any of the other R93 bolt heads because this bolt head will only fit in a very rare model called a uh, LRS2 338 Lapua or in a tactical 2 and the the big difference between the standard R93 bolt heads which are all the same diameter uh, regardless of caliber, they just have different cutouts uh, for different, you know, uh, cartridge head sizes. The 338 Lapua Magnum is just larger. It's, uh, I don't know, I think it's the difference between about 16 or 17 millimeters and about 21 millimeters. So that is, this 338 Lapua Magnum head is the one head that will not work on a standard R93 and can't really be considered an R93 bolt head. But this is the one caliber and the one situation in which the tactical rifles had a special bolt head. And it's, you see here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's marked LA right there. And that's for Lapua. And uh, you can actually fit this in a standard R93. And you can take this and fit this to the first generation bolt bodies, but you're just never going to be able to uh, actually um, get it to fit in a barrel because, of course, the uh, smaller diameter barrel shank R93 barrels that were supplied with the original first generation guns and the LRS2 version is a 29 millimeter, whereas the Tactical 2 is a 34 millimeter barrel shank. So in other words, you can only use this on a tactical two or a very rare model that was called the, the LRS2 338 Lapua Magnum. But other than that, all bolt heads are exactly the same as an R93. Okay, so another aspect that I wanted to cover about all the different uh, generations of uh, bolt housings and the two different generations of chassis you know this is a first generation chassis right here this is an lrs that was made in the late 90s and this is a tactical two um the other thing to notice about them is that if you use these different uh bolt housings interchangeably on either of these two chassis you get the exact same trigger bolts so the first generation rifles could adjust down to about 1.7 pounds. The second generation rifles are kind of limited to about 2 pounds. And if there was anything really internally going on differently here, like it had different springs or something, you know, there was some kind of uh, uh, difference in metallurgy or something like that, then what I would expect to see is if I, say, used a first generation uh, housing on a second generation rifle and I pulled the trigger that I would get different pull weights 
but that's not the case. The trigger pack sets the pull weight value. And if I use a first generation bolt housing on a second generation rifle, I get a two pound trigger pull. If I use a tactical two bolt housing or an LRS two bolt housing on an original uh, LRS, a first generation rifle, I get 1.7 pounds. So that is another clue that tells me that these are all identical. Um, another issue would be the actual uh, bolt heads using different 308 bolt heads over the years. I have multiple 308s um, and I've put them interchangeably in all of these different housings and run them through uh, the different chassis. Uh, I don't get any appreciable change in accuracy or precision comparing the uh, different bolt heads. So all blazer bolt heads are the same. I mean, maybe you have one that's really, really worn down. And in that case, you might get slightly different results. But if I use a 308 bolt head, let's say in my, this is a tactical two chassis. And I, uh, uh, I, uh, shoot it in 308. Then I take another 308 bolt head that's in the same condition and I shoot it. I don't get any differences in point of aim or point of impact. So Blazer R93 bolt heads are essentially, other than the general comparable condition, they're all exactly the same. Uh, the barrels, you know, they have different uh, uh, qualities because, of course, you know, no barrel is cut exactly the same. So if I were to take, uh, you know, a three-way barrel and uh, from, say, my LRS2 and then run it on my uh, LRS1, yeah, then I see a difference, but there's no difference in the actual bolt heads. All right, so, um, you know, this is maybe the first time at least I've ever seen all the generations of bolt heads lined up and compared, so hopefully this video helped to dispel some of the uh, concepts out there that these are somehow different. Um, they are different, but in very, very minor ways, and the important thing to remember is that the biggest difference is the edge protector, which is, you know, this small piece right up at the front here. They're basically just two different profiles. And honestly, they don't really make that much of a difference when you're feeding. Um, I've used these uh, interchangeably for a couple of years now, and uh, I don't see any evidence to suggest that they are made differently or that they have different internal parts or they're capable of doing different things. They're all basically the same. So that's just my two cents worth. I don't know why um, the standard internet knowledge, if you go on some forums and stuff like that, is usually, oh, you know, they're, no, they're different. This one's bigger than that one. And this was, you know, it's, it's just not true. I think probably what ended up happening was Blazer, uh, for whatever reason with their dealers, they didn't really know what they were talking about or they didn't explain it well enough to their dealers when they were originally being sold. And to be fair, you know, this, the, all these different bolt housings, all these different rifles span, you know, 25 years of production. I mean, they've been in production since 1993. So maybe, you know, I mean, it's not as if you could go to a shop and buy an LRS-1 and sitting right next to it would be an LRS-2 and a Tactical-2. They came out at different times. So maybe the knowledge was just kind of lost or people didn't really pay that much attention or nobody has ever had all the rifles at once. So just my two cents. Um, you know, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.